the whole idea is that you want to really paint yourself out to be this full package kind of guy, right? Like the guy that's offering all these different aspects of value to her life. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about demonstrations of higher value, otherwise known as DHVs. Okay, this came from old school game. When I first learned mystery method, this was a critical component, and I still use it in my game to the modern day. Okay, RSD did away with a lot of it, mostly because it worked, and most of their strategy is designed to put you back in progress or leave you incredibly confused. But I'm gonna go into what a demonstration of higher value is and how to properly use it. Okay, before we continue, if you are new to the channel, I offer straightforward, practical, no bullshit advice in the dating and seduction game. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos every single day. And also, I run a two-month mentorship program across eight weeks where I mentor you personally on a weekly basis and get guys extremely, extremely good. Most of the guys coming out of the program are going on to do 50 to 100 girls a year. And we can go over the details of that if you jump on a free 30-minute call with me with the link in the description. And I'll tell you how you can get you very good at the game very fast, okay? So a demonstration of higher value or a DHV is a story or something you, you reference in your verbals that's going to make the girl think higher of you. The whole idea is that you want to really paint yourself out to be this full package kind of guy, right? Like the guy that's offering all these different aspects of value to her life. Okay, so typical demonstrations of higher value that I use are that I was an electronic music DJ. Okay, I say that I still am. I used to be for years prior, as a hobby prior to getting into all the pickup and seduction stuff. But I mentioned that very early on in every interaction. That sets the idea of, uh, as mystery refers to, cementing an identity. Okay, that the girl, her mental model from what she views through the lens of society, for a DJ, for instance, is that he has access to a lot of women, he has an adventurous life, his life is probably more fun than mine, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So I mentioned that very early on in every interaction. Okay, that's gonna like import a bunch of value and a bunch of social proof. The point is though, when you do a demonstration of higher value, you do not want to make it seem like it's bragging. You don't wanna make it look like you're explicitly trying to impress her. If you do it like that, it's not going to work. Okay, so classic examples of doing it the wrong way would be if a guy was like, hey, did you know I'm a doctor? Did you know I'm a lawyer? The girls would be like, oh my God. Because that comes from the frame of you being a low value guy that's needing to like showcase this stuff in an explicit way in order to compensate, okay? Or a guy leaning against a Lambo, okay? Or if you're like Max Tornov, a rented Lambo. And, or or a Fresh Prince CEO with his, with his uh, fake jets and, and cars. You just stand in front of it, okay, and then you put in a picture. Okay, girls think that's very cheesy and it's called being try hard, all right? So the most important part when you do a demonstration of higher value, a DHV, is to kind of mention it indirectly, okay? You, you kind of make it as like, like the backdrop of a story or like a little thing that you, you plant as a seed, but it's not the full focus, right? So you're not like, oh, did you know I'm a DJ? Do you think that's cool? Instead, I'm like, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Um, I DJ at this club and this club. What do you do for work? Right? Now it just seems like a casual thing you referenced. Or, hey, I throw parties. I actually DJ electronic music. Do you like electronic music? Yeah, okay, cool. I should invite you to one of my parties sometime soon, okay? Other demonstrations of higher value that I use, that I used to work on uh, top secret uh, classified projects with nuclear missile defense, biological missile defense, chemical missile defense. I talk about how I lived all around the world in more than 30 countries. I talked about how I can speak a whole bunch of languages how I do Muay Thai kickboxing and Krav Maga and Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, how I like eating healthy and, and living an active lifestyle and this and that and trying new experiences and blah, 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 blah. Right? The whole idea is that you want to showcase that you are a full package option, that you are extremely well-rounded so that you really stand out to her and that you're not just another guy. Okay? If, if I'm just in there like talking about random shit, she's going to say, oh, this guy, you know, even though I'm going to be exuding confidence and I'm going to be you know, expressing things with body language and really make myself stand out that way. In terms of a value standpoint, it really, really helps to be mentioning all these other things, okay? So in my eight-week mentorship course, I have a section of the course that's talk, that talks about what to say. It talks about multi-threading conversations so that you don't run out of stuff to say. It talks about value DHV-based stories that you're not repeating verbatim, but the general outline of the story is very, very similar when you tell it time and time again. So I will tell these DHV stories in every cold approach interaction. I will tell them 
on every date, okay, whether it be a public date or a date straight to the house. And it's really just a, a series of things. I'm just like boom, 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 boom. So she's left like overwhelmed with value. And again, it's not explicitly in her face and it's not bragging and it's not done in a way where I'm compensating or trying to impress her. Instead, these are things that are casually mentioned. I'll even talk about having dated beautiful women all around the world, okay, which hits on the pre-selection principle. As mystery teaches, there's five attraction switches evolutionarily hardwired into women, okay? Leader of men. Leader of men, protector of loved ones. I said that all strange. Leader of men, protector of loved ones, willingness to emote, showing different ranges of emotions, uh, adventurous life, and pre-selection. Other hot women approving of you, right? So when a girl walks away from the conversation with me, she thinks, okay, this guy lived around the world. He has multiple degrees. He runs his own company. I don't tell them what I do up front. Uh, he knows how to DJ electronic music. He does martial arts, lives a healthy life, has a cool place that he lives in, has a cool car. Okay, I have my Corvette back in New York. By the way, and I'll probably make a separate video on this, I am selling my Corvette because I'm not able to ship it to Brazil. Um, I'll pop up a couple pictures of that. It is a year 2000 C5 Corvette, and I did extensive upgrades on it. It has like $5,000 worth of JL Audio sound system inside and exhaust upgrades and this and that, but I have to sell it. It's in New York in a garage. Uh, because it's not able to be imported into Brazil unless it's a new car. So if you have interest in that, email me at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com, but I'll make a whole separate video on that. But she walks away with a, this kind of like overwhelming thing, right? Plus all my like confidence and charisma and the, and the way that I sexualize and, and lead the conversation stuff is congruent with this high value persona that I'm putting off to the girl, okay? And this is gonna be far more engaging than just talking about random nonsense, okay? So DHVs are a very real thing. They should be used in every single cold approach. This is a very important video. They should be used in, on every single public date. They should be used in every single date straight to the house. It's really going to differentiate you, make you stand out from the rest of the girls, and it's going to really work in your favor and give you a lot better chances with the girl, okay? So if you want to see uh, Inside My Week Mentorship course, all the lists of the, of the typical demonstrations of higher value that I talk about, and as well as all the other conversational threads that I talk about, so that you'll never run out of things to say and you will be crafting your verbals to work the most in your favor, please jump on a 30 minute call with me personally. The link is in the description. I'll show you how I can get you very good very fast, okay? And if you'd like to receive alerts of new videos every single day, please press the subscribe button, press the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you, RST Tyler, for pushing DHVs out of the community and other very important things, burying them because they help guys actually get good at the game and that is exactly the opposite of what you are trying to do. Thank you so much for that. We all appreciate you. We all really enjoy your, your extravagant outfits and, and uh, boisterous personality. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.